Hi guys, my name is Jacinta and I'm a part of Yak. Today I'll be teaching you how to make fettuccine carbonara at home. Now the reason I have chosen this recipe is because it is something I cook frequently in Hobart when I'm there for uni and it's quite simple to make. It doesn't require many ingredients, so let's get to it. Always make sure you wash your hands before handling any food. Also, if you have long hair, make sure it's tied back and out of the way. We don't want food in our hair, that's disgusting. Okay, so the ingredients we need today are some mushrooms, some garlic. Um, we use minced garlic because it's cheaper, but you can buy garlic cloves if you're feeling bougie. Thickened cream, some bacon, you don't have to have bacon if you don't eat it. And a capsicum, pasta, and some cooking oil. So, on to making it. First things first is we are going to chop and dice the bacon and fry that up. Now, most likely use a chef's knife. It's clearly a big knife, it's very sharp. Make sure you have parent permission before using this or ask someone to chop the bacon for you. That's gonna cook our pasta while we prep the sauce. Then in a fry pan, you're gonna get some cooking spray and just chuck her in there, like that. Then turn it on to about halfway, and then we're gonna put our bacon in. So, the bacon is going to cook, and while that cooks, we are going to prep the other ingredients. Next, we're gonna cut the capsicum. There are different ways you can cut it. You just do whatever works easiest for you. I find this works best for me. Um, because this is a capsicum that someone's already used half of, we'll just use the other half. You can add more or less capsicum, however much you like. So I've just cut around the top, and I've got four pieces. And we are just going to slice them. If you like me and you live with animals, they're gonna come and beg for food. There you go, sweetie. So we're, while we've, we've cut the capsicum, we're just going to sit it on this plate for now because it's not going in the fry pan just yet. Also, make sure that you are checking on your bacon so that it doesn't burn and you don't set the house on fire. Next, we're gonna chop some mushrooms. So we've got our few mushrooms and we're just gonna slice these. Again, being very careful not to chop our fingers because it hurts and we don't want to go to ER. And then I'm just going to put these straight onto the plate with the capsicums we put aside because they don't go with the bacon just yet. You can cut them with a smaller knife. Probably not the best knife, but nicer knife. That's probably enough mushrooms. You can add as much or as little as you like. I really enjoy garlic, so I add more than is probably recommended. Give it a little stir. Don't forget to turn the fan on when you cook. Now make sure you stir it so it doesn't stick to the bottom or burn. Now we're gonna add the capsicum and mushrooms to our bacon and let that cook together for a bit and soften before we add the cream. Also, with your pasta, if you have a lid for your saucepan, use that. I don't know where the saucepan lids for this one, so we're just hoping for the best. Now that our capsicum and mushrooms are softened, we're gonna put this on a low heat and put about half of this cream in here. There's only half left so we'll use the rest of it. And now we're going to let it simmer until it thickens a little bit. So then that will be our sauce. While we're waiting for our sauce to thicken, the pasta is still cooking. Now to know when pasta is cooked, you cook it until it is al dente. The easiest way to find out if it's al dente is to throw it at a wall. And if it sticks, it's perfect. 
However, that's not possible with all types of pasta shapes. So just cook it till it's soft and probably don't throw pasta at your walls without parent parental permission. Now the food's ready. Also, I forgot to mention earlier, some people like to put cheese in with their cream. I don't because when I cook, I cook for some friends who are lactose intolerant, but that if you like cheese, more than welcome to do that. You can also transfer your pasta in there and mix it together. That'll make it less runny. However, if you want everyone to make, to get their own portion that they're happy with, you can just leave it separate like this. And there you have it, how to make fettuccine carbonara at home. One thing you may have noticed is I didn't really measure out any of the ingredients during this video. I just kind of went, yeah, this should be right. That's because my mum's actually a trained chef. So a lot of the times when she was teaching me to cook, she didn't really use measurements. It was just kind of like, yeah, a couple of this, a bit of that, a pinch of this. So it's very hard to break those habits. But with a recipe that's this easy, it's quite easy to get around it. If you want to learn any other recipes, just pop it down in the comments. We'll see what we can do. Thank you. And that's all for today. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed our videos.